Hi, my name is Dandy Gustavus. Uh, I am an artisan baker in England for over 22 years baking artisan breads, specializing in sourdoughs. And I want to show you some ways of doing some lovely artisan and sourdough breads. A lovely summer bread is always a focaccia, and one of my absolutely favorite is an olive focaccia. And here I use 410 gram of white flour, eight gram of sea salt, then six grams of yeast, and I have something like Italian herbs and seasoning consisting out of oregano and uh, parsley and thyme to give a little accent up there, a little bit of color and sprinkling in there. And uh, then we have uh, our rye sourdough starter of 30 grams, which I will add in there and 30 grams of the white starter, giving a total different flavors in itself. Mixing in with 20 milliliter of olive oil up there, and then got some mixed chopped olives, about 30, 40, 50 grams all into the bowl. And that's more or less it. It will be a very, very slack dough to produce and we have our water and everything in there. And I start working the bowl from the outside to the inside, just tipping the flour over and thus mixing everything in slowly, carefully. And it's gonna be a very, very wet dough. So don't despair, don't add more flowers, flour uh, into that as much as you tempt it and as much as it sticks to your hand like that with mine. And now we start. So I start folding bits in, stretching the gluten, incorporating more air into the dough, just slowly rocking it forward. It just doesn't need a lot of exercise. It just needs just a little gentle stretching and rolling. You see it already coming in. If it sticks to the table, just a fine dust, very, very fine. You need and need, you need to need about, well, there's a word, need to need about, uh, 10 minutes and I leave it up there, put my bowl over it and let it rest. Let the water absorb and let the dough relax and the gluten relax for about half an hour to about 45 minutes. Our olive dough has lovely fermented and it's here and so we can now divide it to make two different types of bread. One of them is the olive focaccia. Very, very simple. I just gently round this up, very, very gently. And then, with a little bit of flour on the table, spread it out. I'll use my hands to stretch it a little bit. There we are. Let its own weight go up there. You see the bits of olives in there. Here we are, ready and sprinkle a bit of flour and put it on our tray for her fermenting. It doesn't need long for that, but this one I want to shape a little bit differently. But before I do it, I would either use some chopped garlic and chop this garlic and put it in. But much better is I took a little pan or a little oven fry pan, cut in a whole garlic loaf cut the bottom off, put drizzled a little bit of olive oil over it and put it in the oven for about uh, 25 to 35 minutes at 200 degrees. And what you have is this lovely caramelized soft garlic which is in here and I will use half of this garlic with this caramelization to put it inside. It's going to be a stunning bread, a garlic bread of the difference at all. And then I will shape it after a bit of relaxation. I will shape it in an oval shape. We'll make three cuts 
in the middle and stretch it a bit. There you got a letter shape. Actually, it's not a focaccia, but it's a cousin of the focaccia called a fugace. And to do that, I either add a bit of the caramelized garlic, press it on there, really squeeze it out, or because it's already been caramelized, add a few raw garlic bits on top of it. Now we wanted to add some cheese and have some grated cheese, but I don't want to add it now on there because once it's baked in the oven, the cheese actually goes brown and horrible and bitter. So we will do it later. What I will do is I transfer this one onto our tray. And once it proved, it goes straight into the oven to be baked off. The olive focaccia, where my gloves are, is already done. And lovely, very moist. You can see the olives up there, the little flower still on that. It's a very summery loaf, really to rip and tear apart and share between friends. And this is how you make an olive focaccia. <laughs>